Hello everyone, welcome. I wanted to come on here real quick and share with you what I am going to be sending to my swap partner, Sela. She is over on Instagram. Uh, we have been friends for many, many years and we decided to swap again. Uh, this time a fall theme and it was uh, a pocket letter that we're supposed to be uh, swapping so here is a pocket letter that I made for her I went ahead and um, I kind of made it a little simple I should have made it a little bit more um, layered because she loves uh, layering and uh, I, I think at this moment at this time when I was making her pocket letter I was lacking uh, creativity uh, there was a period in uh, my life I was going like in a funk for two weeks so it was really hard to get motivated and get some ideas and I think I just did the pocket letter just to do the pocket letter to start working on it and um, and then my creativity started flowing afterwards so I'm sorry about that Sele that is just a simple pocket letter uh, I tried to, uh, you know, give it some more oomph, but uh, the layering uh, just wasn't, you know, in my head, the creativity was just not, was not in me at that moment. So here I uh, sewed one of my tools that I cut in half and then I sewed it uh, with the pleats and then I just added some leaves that were in my stash. Uh, this felt leaf has been in my stash for the the longest time I still have some and I try not to like use them all up because I don't know where I got this I'm sure it's maybe three or four years old and then uh, these leaves um, I, I don't know I haven't been to Dollar Tree in like the longest time so I don't even know if they're still selling these kind of leaves but I remember getting these at Dollar Tree a long time ago too and that's also in my stash and then this little felt pumpkin I think these felt pumpkins I had gotten last year in a yard sale. There was like a whole huge baggie full of pumpkins and like fall stuff uh, for like, I think everything was half price. So it was supposed to be 50 cents. So I got it for a quarter. Um, so yeah, I love yard sales. But anyways, uh, so here on the bottom, I used two pockets and then I just went ahead and cut out one of those uh, window clings that they have that they sell in Walmart oh my goodness at Dollar Tree I picked one of those up to decorate in my my house and then I just used one a uh, little I thought that would be cute I said celebrate autumn so I went ahead and cut that and then I glued it onto a white cardstock and then I glued that on top of this uh, pocket letter and then I just added some leaves um, from my stash I think I'm gonna add some more uh, leaves on top of here so I'll poof it up a little before I send it to her and then here in this card I just went ahead and um, cut out uh, the size you know what I forgot to get bring the paper pads that I used. okay I used authentique and I don't know who this is from oh no I guess that's the name of the company I didn't even know authentique paper so I used um, this one throughout my swap and I also used uh, autumn from Cartabella beautiful papers and then I used some of the amber moon from Prima I uh, got this in a yard sale a long time ago, I think maybe two years ago, and I still have some. I'm trying not to like use it all up because that is like the most gorgeous paper. So I, like I said, I used those papers throughout my um, whole swap. And then this little butterfly uh, cut out like a stamp was from a swap from last year. I believe it was from um, Shanita. She had sent me something. Um, with this in on it so I um, removed it I think it was like on some little shaker bits so I added that on there and then just added some leaves that I had in my stash and then I found um, some words that says collect beautiful moments I just went ahead and distressed that on the, around the edges 
Here I just cut out a little, cut apart from the Prima paper, added that on there, and then made some flowers, added uh, some ribbon. I made a shaker. I'm not really good at making shakers. Oops, there's my stuff in the back, but you can see it's a little shaker. Now it's not going to go back in. I'll have to fix that later. And then I just added a little acorn and a leaf from my stash. Here is a little cut apart again from the Prima paper. And then I just added some, I don't know why I never remember that it's called diamond dust. Ugh. Never remember it. Um, so I added some diamond dust on to this little section here and then another little cut apart that says heart and grateful. And then um, I'll just take this out. Ay, ay, ay. And then here in this one, it's another window clean. I just glued that on top of um, the uh, pocket square. And um, I added some words here that says October Mo Moment. I can't remember where I got these papers. I mean, these words. They must have been somewhere. Oh, I can't remember where I got them from. Sorry. And then this one, I just added a sunflower and then some sunflower ribbon that was gifted to me from my swap last year as well. And then this, um, this card, I distressed the edges and then added some gold or rose gold uh paste that i have i just added that in on the card distressed all around it found this cute little teapot that says hello in my stash distressed that as well and then added some leaves so that is what i made for her with the pocket letter and then stay 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 okay where do i start where do i start and then I made her some tags. I went ahead and decoupage a napkin on this paper. And then I just cut out the tag. I don't know if you can see that this is a napkin. And then I just added um, some little ephemera pieces that I found in my stash as well. I believe these came from a swap last year. Um, I can't remember if it was from Patricia or Shanita, but uh, I had swapped with those uh, two lovely ladies. So thank you so much for um, sending me some extras so I can use. And I just added that gold leaf, um, I felt pumpkin, and then this also was gifted to me. And then I just added some of these leaves and the word heartfelt. And then this one uh, just says friendship. I decorated it the same way just added different words to it and then um, this one I just made this cute little tag I used oh my goodness I put it away it's apparent I'm not pro I'm not prepared for this video it's something I had to come and do really quick before I um, went on my day but I used um, this these I used a not too shabby I had got this last year. It's called uh, Pumpkin Spice Season. Uh, the Femme Pieces. And here is the paper. I uh, used some of that uh, to make her embellishments. I made the card. I love the um, ephemera pieces because it has pumpkin and then it has these like little drinks and stuff. It's so cute. So I made that tag, added that on there. And then I just made her four. Um, embellishments uh different ones you know with different ephemera pieces so i thought that was really really cute i i love crafting um in a fall theme so so pretty i just love the colors and everything so i did that for her and then i decoupaged or i should say i altered a box um these are those international delights i think that the coffees um, I used to drink these and so I have like, oh, I think this is my last one. I used to have four of them and because I made, altered a whole bunch of stuff for my friends. So, um, I altered this using the napkin. First, I painted white chalk all around it on the lid and on, on the container. And then I went ahead and I decoupaged the napkin on top of that. And then I just added some metallic, um, uh, 
paint all around it. I think it's a copper color. It gives it such a beautiful little sheen. So pretty. And I just decorated it with some butterflies, some, a wood piece, a pumpkin wood piece. And I wrote the word fall. I try to do my best penmanship. I'm not, I'm not good at all, but I tried. And then I added some leaves here and also de-stressed those. And then here on the topper, I just made this little embellishment here uh, with some like little lace sticking out and some leaves. And then, um, this is not glued down correctly, but I'll have to do that before I send it to her. And then I just made a whole bunch of flowers for her. I love making these flowers. Love, 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 love. So fun to make because they come out so pretty. Um, when you punch them or if you have a die cut, um, these are die cuts. Uh, this, this one I think is a die cut too. And I don't know where my punch one is, but I just love how these came out. So, so pretty. And these are store-bought flowers. I did not make these, but I just added those in there for her. But, um, and then I made her some like, really little ones. See how cute, look how cute the little tiny ones are. They're so adorable. And yeah, I just made her some flowers. I hope she can use those next year if she does a swap. So, so pretty. I'm going to be making more of these flowers in different colors and different themes. So, so pretty. So fun to make. And then I made her this hoop or uh, embroidery hoop. Um, I decorated it. I just added some uh, cardstock paper, pattern cardstock paper on it. Glued that on there. And then I added, I glued some of this, um, what is it called? Seam binding. Um, that I had in my stash. I just went ahead and glued that all around. And then I fussy cut this leaf. I fussy cut some of the like pieces from the Prima paper. Found these flowers. I believe these came from uh, Brenda from um, last year. I think it was last year. So I used up some of her flowers. They matched perfectly. And then I cut out. I cut some butterflies and then I added the diamond dust in the middle. I added some here, added some here. And then I had used one of these clay pieces that I had made. And then here I'm using um, some dried flowers that my friend Anna gifted to me when I met her over the summer. So, so sweet of her and I keep using them, Anna. Hello, thank you for gifting those to me. So. I used some more of that. I added that in there. I thought that just looks so, so pretty. And so, yeah, that's how I decorate. Oh, and I added some of her, um, I think she gave me this one. Yeah, I think it was from her. She gifted me a whole bunch of different uh, lace and trim and stuff. So I used that. That's how I decorated that one. And then um, I made her a chunky uh, wand. She loves chunky, you know, like layers and stuff. So I made this up totally for her. So what I did was I die cut a circle. Um, I just went ahead and uh, die cut that. Added some of my uh, trim that I sewed. I cut that in half as well so it's not so wide. And then I uh, die cut a, a nut, some three... I, I die cut three different sizes and then I just layered it up. So you really can't see the middle one, it's, uh, this green one. And then I just added a whole bunch of different ephemera pieces and flowers that I had in my stash. I added this pick that was in my stash as well um, in, in there, glued that down. And then I added another um, a circle. And then I added this... Um, rosette that was made by my friend ebony so i found that in my stash as well i'm glad that it matched um this theme and then i just went ahead and added a flower that i made love these flowers like i said and then a bow here and then a pumpkin and then some of this uh, trim that cheeky's gifted to me as well so i hope she likes it i love it i love the way this came out um so yeah, that is it. That is what I'm going to be sending out to Sela. 
Oh, and the, and the card. I did not make this card. My friend, uh, Patricia, she is on Instagram. So, so creative. This lady, she outdid herself. We had a swap last year and, um, oh my God, she sent me some amazing, beautiful things. She is amazing. She does amazing job and so, so pretty. So she made me some extra cards. So I wrote a cute little note here for Sele. I'm going to send her off a card, um, that Patricia sent, uh, made and I just love the leaves. I don't know where she got these from. I don't know. I'm assuming this is a probably a die cut from a set. And the leaves, I guess she die cut these out. I just love the colors. It's so beautiful and rich, dark colors. And then it says, hello fall. The, it's pumpkin spice latte season. And yes, it is. And just the way she made the little cup, she added, she made, um, or she, I mean, she cut out vellum to make the lid. So that's just so cute. That's a cute idea. I'm going to have to um, scrap lift that um, when I make my little coffee cups and stuff. So that's cute. And then the little straw. So this card I'll be sending to sell it as well. And that is it. So I thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. And um, I will see you in the next video. Everyone take care. Bye.